Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we went further with Alan uh, through the Dark Place to try and get to the Ocean View Hotel. Um, and the Dark Place would not let us so we had to find our own way in there. And we actually got caught in the middle, accidentally kind of, uh, in a Night Springs episode, uh, the DLC. And... I thought about it. I, I want to get back actually to the main story. We'll deal with the DLC after the game. So I reloaded an, old, an older saving, just got back to the same point to um, to where we were going to get the shotgun right before we entered the episode. So... Um, right, we had this problem where we had inventory space... We need three spaces. Uh, we could just use this. Because I think we still have a few saved up. Don't tell me it's four spaces. for the fucking shotgun. Bro, this better be like the most powerful fucking weapon in the game. The fuck was that? For four spaces? Uh, we'll quick slot it to the left. Actually, no. Quick slot this there. This will be to the left. Same as Saga, basically. Kind of. Oh, jeez. That's where we came from. Um. Yeah, if we didn't need another gun, like another weapon, I would say fuck the shotgun, because again, four fucking spaces. And we're not even expanding it. Like, our, our inventory space is just three. Not like Saga. Oh. I'm guessing the code was in there somewhere. We're never out of your way. So by the way, I was mistaken the about caught my eye. So it's gotta be one of these. Oh 
Ocean View cocktail. Let's try 2550. Maybe. Or maybe shotgun. So I, either it's 19 or 2550. Um, I was mistaken about the um, kind of the correlation to the Ocean View Motel in control. It's Motel. This one is Hotel. There we go. Twenty-five fifty. Um, it might. It's pr again. It's most likely related. I don't know if it's the same thing. Very unclear. Is that meant to signify Thomas Zane with the diving suit? So I'm guessing it's Thomas Zane that's here. Don't know why there's speakers and shit here. Is that a picture of us in like the dark place? So I feel like th these are areas that we visited, like the the Caldera subway tunnel. I feel like that's what that's supposed to signify. Due to water damage, do not enter. We apologize for the inconvenience. Six six five. The room was empty except for the projector. More games. Was the film a message waiting to be played? I mean, obviously. Shadow and mist. There's a window in the floor and a door in the ceiling. There's no knowing. Am I standing still or running or kneeling? You're the one who's been calling me. Indeed. I'm Tom Zane. Welcome to the House of Zane. The poet. The diver. You look like me. How the hell- Or maybe you look like me, you handsome devil. 
The diver was a beloved character I played in one of my films. I'm a filmmaker, a celebrated auteur. I need answers. Why is return so important? What, Al? You, you always get worked up like this. Come on, I'll fix you a drink. We're in this together. Two artists collaborating, remember? Crafting the keys to our escape. Your magnum opus, Return, and its, its companion piece, my film. Sharing our, our life-altering visions, a, a melding of higher minds. Dreaming up our transcendental work of art. Here, in this room. 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 It's return, because we return. And that is how the magic happened. Enough of this bullshit. Alice is in danger. I need another murder site to go further. Back to Parliament Tower. Scratches. Your wife is safe back in the real New York. But Scratch is reaching for her through an overlap. Return is the key to escaping the dark place. You need to get it before that freak does. <sighs> There's a murder site here in the hotel. Let the waves of your riding carry you there. If anyone asks, you were never here. Thomas Zane had ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write my way to it. So, I guess even if I'm, if I'm understanding correctly, Thomas and Alan have been working together, um, cause Alan's kind of forgotten a bunch of stuff. He's forgotten, uh, certain aspects of, from his time here in the dark place, as was evident when we first met Tim Breaker down here. Um... I guess they concocted this whole thing together to write the return, which Alan's amnesia is part of it, it seems. And through the TV, uh, I mean, we saw Dr. Darling, Casper uh, Darling from Control. I, I wasn't clear if uh, that was supposed to be Jesse, the girl that we saw at first. I, I thought it was meant to be Alice. But maybe it is actually supposed to be Jesse. Because we know the FBC is actually involved. Whispers from the police radio kept me awake at night. The word through the ether. A murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. <laughs> How meta can you get? He said, looking knowingly at the camera. I could sense the cult of the word in this, and their leader, Mr. Scratch. Rumored to be Alan Wake, the writer who'd gone missing years before. The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. I was on the right path.
I would start at the entrance lobby. The entrance hall set the mood where everyone had come in. The victim, the murderer, the detective. An idea, clear as a vision, waited for me here. This is very old school, this, uh, this kind of lobby. of the cult was cursed from the pre-show ritual on. The cult is an immersive theatrical experience. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to walk me through what that means. Immersive theater. A play where the audience can participate, spread across this hotel. The cult is a legend. The only written copy of the manuscript lost, the play is passed on as oral tradition between theater companies. Each company only performs it once. The play was said to have special power. You were like kids playing with a Ouija board. And when you call for the devil, he will come. The pre-show ritual, that's it. Set it up, start from the beginning. I've always wanted to go to like an immersive theater, like a dinner theater, like a murder mystery, like whodunit kind of thing while you're eating. I always thought that was kind of cool. So I'm gonna check around here first before I before I change the scene. I'm just gonna look around before I change the scene. Um, there's nothing I can really put in there. Is that meant to be a control reference? Yeah, this very much seems like an old timey-wimey um, hotel. Like, I would say early 1900s. I guess it's not really old timey wimey. That seems more like. The room at the end of the corridor was closed off. It felt significant. Something terrible would happen there. Uh, old timey wimey kind of seems like, I don't know, like 1500s or something, or even 1800s really. Is that box meant to be there? No, it's not. Or maybe it is. If only old boxes were that lightweight, am I right? I needed to find the key. Or 
room is this? 104. I think we've seen that symbol before in Control as well, in the Ocean View Motel. This is 101. Save again. Excuse me. There's nothing in here, right? No. What new radio thing do we have? Oh, the echoes, right? So let's do this the pre-show ritual. Whoops, because I don't think in preparation of the horror show, because that's meant to be the end of the story. I had to be at the scene to see and understand it in order to change it. Right, right, right. I forgot about that. Whoa. <laughs> These props to room 225 for later use in the ballroom play. The troop were busy building their own wicker man, where they themselves would be sacrificed. The prop room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. We can't get to 225. Oh, there's a new symbol on this door. That wasn't there before. And now this is 104. This was 102 before, wasn't it? Well, maybe not. 103. Elevators, are they blocked off? This one's not. It's not gonna, it's gonna take me all the way to the top, isn't it? Six. Forbidden play brought to life, the cult. Everyone is invited to the pre-show ritual in the ballroom. Layers upon layers. A play about a murder cult, infiltrated by a real murder cult. Yeah, so everyone in that in that show is probably gonna die. As a means of sacrifice. Let's 
to me. So something... Oh, could I have opened this before? So something has to have changed. Something significant. Yeah, see now that symbol's gone. The the two intersecting circles. Oh no, it was over there. Never mind. We had the 104 key, didn't we? Come on. I'm on the second floor now. Yeah, because I, cause I was like, that doesn't make sense. God, like, why would you not throw it? I kept on, like, trying to press the right trigger and he wouldn't throw it.
shadows melted away, I was alone. For now. That was pretty annoying. What I had initially assumed, uh, just like in the first game, the flashbang would just like destroy them. But no, all it does is like take their their shields away. That's what threw me off at first. Uh, before I go in that room, I'm just gonna look around. By the way, how can you tell the difference between what- Oh! See, this- That guy, you can't see through him. Yeah, so if you guys haven't picked up on it now, how you can tell which ones are, like, the bad ones and which ones are, like, the fake ones. Like which ones are going to attack you and which ones are not. Um, if you shine the light at them, like just uh, just this, not like the actual full blast, if you can kind of see through them, then that means that they're not, they're not going to attack you. But if they're like full shadow, like full, like there's no light passing through them, they're going to attack you. In case you haven't picked up on it yet. It could not be opened on this side. Is that Casper Darling? Is Casper Darling stuck in the dark place? Actually, I hadn't even considered that. That's Tim Breaker. I didn't have the key. You can't uh, undo the door, or undo the door, unlock the door from the inside. Can't be like, hey, Tim, it's me, open up. We have a, a a dining room on the second floor. A ball the ballroom would be the stage of a key scene in the play. Figure out what happened in the ballroom. One thing that really throws me off about this game, the lighting is really good, but it's too much. Um, it seems like there's neon like everywhere. Like either the flashlight is like too strong. Um, Cause like whenever I'm trying to see like a detail or something, like if I'm trying to read like what that's supposed to say, like I can't see there, I have to bring it down, right? But if I turn off altogether, it's like too dark. Meanwhile, these red lights, like, shining through, it's like, I... It's too much. Room 101. So we'll have to go back downstairs.
Ah, this looks more like the control, the room to control. The black upside down pyramid. I'm sorry, I, I gotta. I can't. Hey, Tim. New map, huh? Yep. Like, I've never been to New York, but I can tell you that this ain't it. How do you know? Red-headed woman connected to door. I know her. Where do I know her from? Her identity changes. Connected to polyhedrons. She will come for me. Yeah, that's got to be Jesse. I mean, the the red-headed woman and polyhedrons is kind of a dead giveaway. I think we've read all the other stuff. Yeah. I heard you humming. Yeah, like, it's some kind of tune I don't know if I know. I heard you humming again. <laughs> yeah, I I can't get this song out of my head. It's a real earworm. I heard it in my dreams. I know that song you keep humming. It's the theme from Night Springs. That old sci-fi show? Sci-fi horror anthology. I used to write for a long time ago. Look, it sounds a bit nuts, but I think the song is connected to Door. Or, it's my subconscious telling me that this is all pretty out there. I mean, it didn't really sound like the Night Spring song, but okay. music picking up. room just like locked away That's so weird this is where they gathered before the play this is where it began god there's so much to go through Minimized. 
Uh, okay. So I went in through there. And I came out that side. Got it. Why is the music picking up? Oh, that's why. Yeah, see, like, these guys are bad news. No, wait. These guys are not bad news. That one's okay. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay. They're all... They're nothing. Uh, I'm just looking to see if there's anything like, um, because usually with these arrows it indicates something hidden. So I'm just looking to see if there's like a word of power or um, those words in like the spiral. There's a door there. Sucks I'd have to use bullets. And for nothing. There's nothing here. Like, seriously, there's nothing here? What's the point of that? What? Alright. Let's head back to that rehearsal room. Let's see if we can change the scene in there. Pre-show ritual. Another vision. Another idea. Hmm. Why set up a play in a hotel? 
Now why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom. Did we summon the same thing? Tapped into something horrifying? It seemed like it was part of the play, but it wasn't. Does that sound crazy? You don't want to ask me about crazy, kid. A haunted hotel, yes. That's a trope for a reason. Okay, so we have a new thing here. Let's try Haunted. Jesus. Another one. I'm going to call it there for this episode. Um, we'll find out what's going on in the ballroom uh, next time. Um, I, I I find this kind of thing intriguing. The, the murder in the hotel, like the cult, the, you know, the, the haunted tropes and all that shit. Um, I mean, obviously we're basically doing this just to kind of drive the story forward. It's like its own little subplot to drive the story forward, which may seem like padding but you know what i kind of enjoy it only thing i don't like is we keep on uh being attacked and i don't have an unlimited amount of bullets so i, I would say it's probably better to run but these guys can move really fast so we'll we'll have to see <laughs> in the meantime guys thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next one take care